guys, and today we will be building a PC. This is my first PC build I've ever done, and hopefully I do well. First, the CPU. I got it for $26. It's an Intel i5-650 dual-core, four-thread processor. It should hopefully do well in my computer. Next is the motherboard. It's an Asus P7P55. I got it for $56 off of eBay on an auction, and I think it's going to be a pretty good option for this PC. Next is the RAM. I got this for free from a friend. This is just some Ripjaws DDR3, all in 2GB sticks, so in total this equals 8GB, which should be enough for me. Here is the graphics card. I got this for free from my brother. It's a GTX 750Ti, made by Asus. And I think it's going to work for me. It should be able to do some gaming. Here's the power supply. Of course I didn't want to cheap out and buy a cheap one off of eBay, so I got this from Amazon for $60. It's a Corsair V450, so 450 watts of power. Should be definitely more than enough for me. Comes with the case screws, and it's got all the connectors. I think this is a pretty good budget power supply if you're planning on doing a build. Here's the hard drive. I took it out of my old PC just to get this PC running. I'll probably replace it with an SSD in the future. Ah, the cooler. I considered liquid cooling, but then I realized that was way out of my budget. So I got this off of Amazon for $40. It will work for me, and actually it's a bit overkill so I can do some overclocking. And now, the case. I could cheap out on this, but I wanted to make it look nice. So I got this Rosewell case off of eBay for $50. Funny enough, the ad was actually removed a couple days afterward, and then a couple other cases came up. I could have gone full ATX, but I decided to go micro. This will work for me. Most of you probably know what building a PC is like, so I've decided I'm just going to leave you with some copyright free music. Feel free to let me know in the comments what mistakes I have done.
Right, so we have the station set up. We got the PC right here. We gotta turn it on. Oh, forgot to flip the switch. Okay. No display. Now the first thing I would think of is to try taking out a couple RAM sticks. So, let's try and turn that off. So we'll cut that. Alright, try that again. Switch. cat because that would be weird because I tested this RAM in another system okay no boot this could be the monitor okay so displaying okay let's try this again We're going to take out one more stick, see if that fixes the issue. Nope. One more time. Oh wait. Oh my god. It's working. It's working. Okay, this isn't just a fluke, is it? Now it's doing this again. Oh, it's been the Windows. Okay, because I pre-installed Windows on this drive because it's from my old PC. Oh my god. It's working. Yes, it worked, but it wasn't without its flaws. Of course, PCs always have some sort of meme before they finally work. I'll let past me explain what's happening in a very messy scenario. And yes, this was crazy. Alright, so currently I have it running on 6 gigabytes. It's having so many issues. I've swapped out so much RAM. Whenever I put this stick in there, it just, it sometimes tries to boot, but then fails. And then it won't show a picture. Um, I tried the Rip Jaws stuff, only two sticks of it work. So, I'll, so two, so two of the slots are dead on the motherboard, and I have a dead RAM stick. So, currently... We have six gigabytes of RAM. So I guess I could run some games on that. I could do some things. But I would ideally like eight. So I'm going to order another eight gigabyte RAM stick. I think, I know this works, but I think it's because it's AMD RAM. And I was using it with my old PC. So... I don't know. I'm gonna have to try another 8 gigabyte stick. I'm gonna buy that. We should be good. Um, yeah. So that's my RAM issues for you guys. It boots on 6 gigs. I'm just gonna put the side panels on and take a break from it because I need one. Alright. Let's get to work. So, I ordered that other stick of RAM. And it still didn't work. So, yeah. Here's the stick of RAM. It worked by itself, but still, it glitched out when I tried this one with the 6 gigabytes. But it did work by itself, so it was confirmed alive. 
So I think this motherboard just doesn't like having more than 6 gigs in there. Or it's just very... Just doesn't like having more than 6 gigs. I don't know why. But... I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with that. You don't get something for nothing, so I guess I got faster speeds for a little bit less RAM. Also, every PC needs a space to be. So, in this awesome time lapse, you will see the desk being cleaned. After getting it all clean, the next job was to do some benchmarking. So what I did was install some games, install fraps, and just get to work. The first benchmark I wanted to try was the Stanley Parable. Yes, it only requires 2 gigabytes to run, but I don't really care. It's a fun game. Let's try it out. On the loading screens, it was about 4 FPS, and usually in normal gameplay it was about 60 FPS for high, 55 FPS for usual, and about 50 FPS when you're in a really intense area. It's a fun game, recommend it, really funny. You heartless bastard. Next was War Thunder. This was really impressive. It was in the high 70s on high settings on the graphics modes. This was really impressive. And he was able to do 80 FPS at the highest. Lowest was around 70 FPS. And it was really reliable. I would really recommend that, that you can use this game as a benchmark. Even though this game can literally run on a potato, it's still fun. And if you can really test the graphics modes by really just adjusting them. Really fun game. Really recommend it. So, the final questions are, how much did it cost? What would I improve? And would I recommend anyone else to build it? Well, it ended up costing $236 Canadian. A pretty fair price for the performance. And if I was going to improve anything, I would probably get a faster processor with a few more cores, and I would probably get a 8 gigabytes working in there. And yes, I would recommend someone building this machine. It's a really good budget machine just to play around with. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.